So great. Um, again, thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, I am Ashish. I uh, work with the marketing team of Zoho Commerce. And uh, we also have Kritika with us, and she will be running everyone through the demo, which should be pretty fun. I have seen that demo, and it's uh, extremely exciting. Uh, great. So now, uh, as you see, uh, the agenda for today is how to set up your e-commerce store in an hour or less. Uh, and of course, we'll be demoing this whole commerce product. Uh, where I want to start or where I want to sort of uh, put my first submission in is that nobody cares about e-commerce software, right? We don't want to talk about software. And uh, even as a company, even as somebody who makes this e-commerce software, software is not what we wish to sort of uh, concentrate on, right? What we wish to concentrate on is the e-commerce industry, right? Where is the future for the e-commerce industry and where we see it growing, right? So we can bring maximum value to you. But when we talk about you, uh, what do you really care about? That's the answer or that's the question we're going to try and ask today and then try and uh, tell you why Zoho Commerce is the right product for you uh, but more importantly how should you be approaching this whole journey of e-commerce because it is uh, of course you know it is one of the most difficult uh, things you can do running your own business is difficult running an e-commerce business even more so because of the amount of competition you have internationally right okay so um, let me just jump into it uh, and try and uh, draw your attention towards this uh, crew diagram that I uh, worked on. And as you can see, there are three layers to it, right? Uh, the outermost layer is the technology layer. The middle layer is more about your functional layer. And the central layer is what you care about, right? So the, here I'm trying to answer the question of what you really care about, like in the previous slide, right? So um, fundamentally, what you should care about is revenue your profit from it and your growth right everything else you see in the second layer is a way of increasing or adding on to the primary you know primary innermost circle that we have so product what price you should be selling at how much should be your profit margin how to build your brand how to get customer loyalty and uh, get repeat purchases uh, concentrate on organic marketing and eventually the cash flow will all allow your business to have sustainable revenue, increase profits as you grow your business. So, right. so this is the primary uh, way e-commerce sellers should think about in today's scenario. Uh, a lot of e-commerce softwares, including us uh, and you know anybody who wants to sell you something is talking about the noise on the outermost layers, right? We're talking about the how to build a website, talking about payment gateways, shipping integrations, and all these things, which yes, they definitely add to your revenue, right? But they have to be set up in a way where there's a direct link between doing something on the outermost layer and that your inner circle grows bigger, right? So the focus is always on the innermost circle growing bigger. And the outermost layer helping uh, that circle grow bigger, right? So, you know, we'll come back to this uh, a little later. Let me try and explain this uh, slightly uh, more in uh, in this uh, you know in these couple of points. Where what I am trying to say is, you need to focus on running your business. Full stop. Right. You don't need to waste your time in building a complicated technology layer. And as a rule of thumb is point number two, if it doesn't add to your growth, you shouldn't be doing it. Right. Now, going back to this slide. Uh, so let me take an example of email marketing. Now, email marketing is a very deep field. Uh, you know, honestly, I have been a marketer for over a decade. I have been doing email marketing in some form or the other uh, for over 10 years, right? And the 
I, I'm still not great at it, right? I'm still learning things because the field is changing all the time. The tools are changing. How people respond to emails are changing. What I'm trying to say is, should you, as a business owner or somebody who's trying to run an e-commerce company or thinking of starting an e-commerce company, how much should you care about email marketing, right? Uh, the answer is very, very little, right? If you give time and energy or email marketing, you will become an amazing email marketer. Right. But what about your revenue, your profit and your business uh, that you have to concentrate on? Right. So that's the idea. You know, the idea that I am trying to bring out here is uh, concentrate on your business. Uh, technology changes. It takes care of itself. And you let the technology guys take care of technology. You let uh, people like us uh, take care of the websites, the social media advertising, uh, cart abandonment, how it is done. Your core should be an on and off switch. Am I doing it? Am I not doing it? Over a period of time, you will get better at it and you have to allow for growth in that manner. You can't have uh, everything when you start. You start where you can and then you bring the aspects as you grow and you concentrate on your growth. Great. Um, all right, so I'm just jumping onto this uh, shameless sales page, uh, which we thought would be important for us to understand why we're talking about Zoho Commerce uh, in this entire aspect of while I'm saying all the outer layer is noise, uh, that is exactly what uh, we are doing at Zoho, right? We are building all those uh, aspects for you. And that's the idea, right? We take care of the technology layer. Uh, any software feature which does not give you business revenue is a needless add-on uh, because it takes time and energy to build these. You know, you have people like me who have deep understanding of email marketing or uh, we have people in our team with extremely deep understanding of social marketing. Uh, you don't need that level of understanding to run a very good business, right? And any software which is doing the add-ons better than the core software is not the software for you, right? So essentially, the sub point here is, uh, do you need a logo maker or a business name generator with your software? Because you are paying for it. You know, somebody developed that, you, you've paid for it, uh, but it does not add to your business revenue, right? I mean, in today's scenario, how difficult is it to go out there uh, look for a logo for 15 minutes on Google and, and get something for yourself, right? Or even get a professional to make it for you. Uh, why do you need to have a software which uh, bundles all of this? It, it, it's not, none of it is free, right? Um, so again, coming back to the question of why Zoho Commerce? Uh, Zoho Commerce comes with the Zoho guarantee of we don't overcharge we let you scale as you go. So what we mean by it is you can go online instantly as Kritika will cover in the demo in part two, where she will talk about starting from absolute scratch, having three things, having product photos and descriptions and being able to build your website instantly and starting to sell instantly. From there to running a end-to-end -end email campaign uh, and being able to track it for revenue is built into the software in the sense that you can scale and pay for it when you need it rather than paying for everything right away. And uh, you know that's essentially uh, what Soho does not do. We will not overcharge you. We will charge you when it is, when you use the software or use that particular aspect of the software because we have built everything using seamless integrations with other Soho products. We'll cover that soon. And uh, one exciting thing is uh, a lot of you might know about uh, something called Zoho One. It's a bundle with some of our best software uh, in a single pricing uh, structure where you get to use every single software you need. Uh, Commerce will be joining Zoho One. Uh, I can't give you a timeline right now, but uh, internally we are discussing that and it's in process. So once you have it, you have seamless integration into all Zoho products that you might need. Right. So that's my Zoho Commerce pitch. Uh, this is the Zoho stack that I can offer to you. So we, we were talking about this outermost ring of a lot of things 
uh, that you should be doing, not wasting your time on it, but you will eventually need to do all of these things. So if you look at shipping integrations, it's already built into the software. If you look at email marketing, you can scale it up using Zoho campaigns. Uh, by the way, we have a webinar separate uh, dedicated time uh, for Zoho campaigns planned sometime next week. Uh, Zoho inventory can help you with shipping operations. It can uh, help you do humongous, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, additions around uh, extremely deep shipping integrations as well uh, with warehouses and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, we have Zoho campaigns which can do cart abandonment, emails and campaigns. And of course, the core software we have here is Commerce, which talks about a website plus pay payment gateways, plus shipping integrations, uh, all inbuilt, right? <clears throat> so it has everything you need to go online today. Uh, apart from this, we have a variety of software without getting too deep into it. We have Zoho, Zoho Social to help you manage and listen into your social uh, media interactions with customers. What are they saying about you, et cetera. Zoho Sales IQ, which is essentially uh, to manage a live chat on your website, how to you know, engage clients all the time and how would you uh, want to respond to their queries instantly. And Zoho Books for anything financial that you might need to run your business, right? So this is, uh, the basics of how we at Zoho think about our software and how uh, as a e-commerce seller, you should concentrate what aspects you should concentrate on and what you should completely defocus on so that uh, you can invest more time and energy in actually growing your business rather than having to worry about things like payment gateways, right? Um, Okay, so here I would like to bring in Kritika, who will run you through the uh, demo. Uh, so I guess it's over to you, Kritika. Thank you, Ashish. Uh, Ashish told uh, the product uh, is built where you can start building it from scratch and take it online in like an hour, less than an hour. I'm going to show it to you now. So before that, or uh, before we go into the demo, I would like to show you like certain, uh, you need to have certain things at hand, uh, which will help you um, set up your store faster. So ideally you will need to start with your store name, details of the product. So you will have like an idea of what you're selling. Uh, so we need like basic photographs, uh, descriptions, their specification, like height, uh, the size, the width, as well as the region you are going to ship the products. Okay. So, and uh, also, uh, look a little into integrations where we can seamlessly ship your products and collect payments. We do integrate with uh, a lot of uh, shipping and payment providers. Kritika, I'm sorry um, to interrupt. We can't actually see the slides, I think. Oh, all right. So sorry. So sorry. Okay, so sorry. So I mean, I'll just run it through again. So these are the things you will need before you take your store online. Your store name, uh, you will already have like the idea of what the products that you're going to sell. Simple descriptions, photos, specification, as well as the region you're going to ship to. Also, you might want to like, you know, uh, do a little bit of research and figure out the shipping integrators and the cost involved to reduce the overall uh, cost of shipping the product. And uh, these are uh, the certain integrations, not certain, like some of the integrations uh, that Zoho Commerce uh, integrates for payment and shipping. So as you can see for Australia, we have like Australia Post, 
and the FedEx, DHL, uh, all of this integrates uh, worldwide. So Singapore or any other region, even India per se, like we have a thing. For India specifically, we have also integrated with ShipRocket. Uh, we also have a webinar tomorrow with ShipRocket in case you all are interested. And uh, same way with payment, uh, we have PayPal to check out, Stripe, Authorized Net. So these are all uh, very good payment integrations where the success rate of uh, payments are like incredibly high. So, okay, so now let's jump into the product. Um, so ideally to get to the product, you can uh, go into zoho.com slash commerce, our website, and you will uh, either have to sign up or access. If you've already signed up, you can directly click on access and uh, create a new store. Okay, it's just loading. So given our uh, the industry type, So once you have entered the basic details of the product, we are going to go in and select a template. Uh, so we have like quite a range of templates that you can just uh, choose. So once this template loads, I'm going to show you uh, uh, first, it's going to be like, you know, adding the products and uh, setting up uh, the shipping regions. Uh, the payment right now, we are going to choose the offline payment methods because uh, integration, we don't have, we are not setting up a live store now. So let's go ahead with adding a product. So I have... Uh, product details already. So I'm going to build a fashion store, uh, ideally selling women's clothing. So SKUs and other details are going to help you in keeping track of your inventory. So here, inventory tracking, uh, you need to have it as yes, because for every sale you make, it is going to go back and reduce your stock. This way, you don't have to manually handle your stocks. And uh, the low stock limit is like, you know, once the stock items comes to five, you're going to get an email triggered to you so that you know you need to order more of the product. Uh, the product identifiers, uh, generally, if you're reselling certain brands, uh, we are going to get these details from your seller. Uh, including these information is going to help you better in, like, you know, your marketplaces and other places uh, where you can, like, uh, sync and people will trust your brand better because they know you're selling the original product and stuff. So this is where we upload the product and uh, you can 
drag and drop and choose which product needs to be the primary. Uh, so attributes is another interesting aspect where you create. Uh, so taking clothes, for instance, we have various sizes and colors. Um, so the, giving an attribute like size, you can select small, medium. And uh, we are going to go ahead and add another uh, attribute. Add another uh, variant to the size small. So this is where you can actually uh, give in more details for your product, where is, where is the length, the height, the width, because this is crucial when you are going in for uh, the shipment. Uh, because uh, FedEx, uh, UPS all provides the automated live price tracking. This is where uh, it will collect the data. So it is best you set these data uh, beforehand. Otherwise, you have to go ahead and like in introduce all these data later on, which is going to be like a tedious process. So once we include all of these products, uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, save it. So you can include various attributes like the colors, um, also the materials, you can uh, get as descriptive as possible about your product. So setting up this shipping is, uh, we're gonna add shipping region. So this is gonna be, so I'm gonna be shipping uh, throughout India. So I'm gonna choose all states. If you are going to only ship for certain states, you can just choose them. You can also uh, do hyperlocal delivery where within your uh, uh, state or within your city, you can select certain zip codes and only allow to ship. So you can choose this option and then just include uh, that particular zip code. So, but now we are just gonna go ahead and add uh, shipping for the entire country. So we can add different uh, shipping, so free shipping. You can go ahead and give custom rate based on uh, size or weight, like uh, why we mentioned the weight back then, but now we are just gonna give a flat rate. Oh, sorry, this is free shipping, so. Once the all right. So for tax, we are going to be uh, skipping it for now, but ideally you will have to enter your GST number. It's gonna change uh, uh, based on regions. So you can include tax to your shipping, to your products. Uh, so most of our Zoho Commerce customers uh, directly sync with uh, Zoho Books. So this helps them in uh, you know, automating the entire tax process. And 
and uh, payment. So right now, again, I'm not getting into the payment integration setup, but uh, it's also like a one click process where if you have like a PayPal account, you can click on setup and directly integrate with it. Uh, but now I'm gonna set up like the offline payment. Once uh, you choose everything, you just click on save. And you can take your store live. Yes. So once we have uh, done all the basic setup, like including uh, your products, your shipping, payment, the next step is publishing your site. So if you have a domain, uh, go ahead and uh, include it here by configuring it. Otherwise, uh, Zoho Commerce gives you like a subdomain that you could use it for free. So just enter your store name and uh, proceed to publish. So now, So now what we see is that uh, we have the product listed, but let's go back to the product and see how we can change and do basic edits to make your store look a bit like your brand or what you want to sell. So you need to go back to the site builder. So site builder is basically uh, very easy for people to use. You just need to like, you know, uh, click on the element and choose what you want. So I'm just gonna click on the banner and uh, upload an image. So right now I've already chosen an image, but you can easily uh, get free images from websites like pexels.com or pixabay. You can choose, uh, you can go enter any number of keywords you will get based on what you want to sell. So once the, uh, the image is uploaded, we are gonna go and I'm gonna show you how to format the content on the banner. This way you can play around with it a bit and uh, make it more uh, legible, like I'll just show you now. So, so we have the image, but now we are going to go and uh, change the content. So it's all basically on the product. There is no CSS, no kind of a complex uh, coding, I subject coding, so. And uh, I'm just going to left align it so that it doesn't. Uh... So we have uh, gone ahead and changed the banners. We have uh, now the entire look of the website changes. You can also play around with the editor a bit and change the color theme uh, to you know fit with your logos and stuff. But ideally, uh, this is a store which looks like your brand, feels like your brand, and uh, you know by clicking on publish, we can actually go in and place an order right now. Let me go quickly place an order. So as you can see, I'm able to check out So 
hope you can see the shipping that we have set up showing up here. So since we have only cash on delivery, it's going to be like a mandatory option. So we complete the order. All right. So now the order has been placed. Uh, if you go into the admin panel, you can actually see that the, an order has been received. So it's all automated. You're going to get the email ASAP as soon as you publish the store. And uh, as a user, like uh, somebody who has placed an order, I'm going to get an uh, email that shows like I have placed an order. So that's it. It's as simple. You can take your store online and have it fully functional, I think, in 20 minutes or so. But again, uh, as a seller, you're going to be adding more products and more information. All right. So you can also go into the back end and see the order. So this is the order that has been placed now. Um, so as you can see, you can you need to confirm the order or if you don't have stock, you can cancel the order and manually email them. And same way you can print uh, packing slips, which can be like downloaded uh, and attached to the packages, the delivery note. And uh, so shipping is where you need to like go in, ship manually. If you had integrated, uh, um, if you had integrated with any of the shipment, you can directly choose that. But now, uh, manual. So if your if your shipping provider gives you a tracking URL, you can enter it here, and you can also share the same with the user so they will know where their package is. But that's it. So you have a fully functional store and uh, you can accept orders, you can ship them. You can also look at the data about the products that's been sold, about the traffic that's coming into your store. And uh, so these are all in-depth traffic as to where, what marketing you're doing and from where you have got the sale from what products are being sold, what categories, etc. So that's about the store building. So if you guys have any questions, you can uh, enter it in the question section. Yes. Hey, Kritika, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It was a really, uh, you know, a really quick run through through the whole thing. So I actually have a, a very good question. Uh, so Mr. Lokande has asked us if uh, we can have the customer database and is there a customer portal as a part of uh, you know the software. So uh, would you mind showing us uh, you know where all the orders are stacked and uh, you know uh, are there any customer details etc that we cover? All right. So let's see. Uh, no, not yet. Yes, now it is coming on, I think. Sorry. So if you, yeah, we can create a customer portal. So you just have to go into site settings, go into member portal and uh, create a member portal. So this way, uh, like, you know, uh, users will have to sign up and you will start getting the customer details and you can maintain the database. Yeah. So you can also choose the information you would like to collect about the members and stuff. So, yeah. Actually, I think uh, it is also about uh, the order panel uh, where we have all the details of. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you want to see. Uh, okay. So that is the thing. Once we have enabled the member portal, only then we will get the details about the customers uh, that have been ordered. Otherwise, all the orders are going to go in as a guest detail. Yes, got it. Okay. So you can see now that I have enabled the customer portal, you can see uh, like data based on customers who are the top purchasers and uh, frequent visitors and all that. 
Perfect. All right. Uh, we have a question from Sunil, uh, who says, is Zoho Commerce free for two months to start? Uh, yes, it is, Sunil. Uh, right now, uh, you know, it's free for two months, uh, trial for all customers. There are no caps on any usage whatsoever. So you can continue to use the product as you wish. Uh, in case you do face any trouble, our support team is 100% uh, behind you and they will help you figure anything out uh, that you need. Um, the next question for Mr. Lukande is, uh, can we integrate Zoho Desk into this? Uh, of course you can. Uh, most of the products uh, like Zoho Desk, Zoho Social, Zoho Sales IQ, Zoho Inventory are very, very tightly integrated. So uh, uh, that is a yes. Uh, can invoicing be automated in Zoho Books for orders that came via Zoho Commerce? Absolutely, yes. Um, and um, is there some security ba banner we can display, PCI certified or something that gives confidence the transactions are secure? Uh, yes, I, I, I would think that. Um, I'm not very sure uh, how that works, but for example, I am aware that uh, if you're using PayPal uh, as the integration, PayPal does allow you to uh, share those banners with you and you can just download it from their website and use it as a picture on your, uh, uh, on our, on your own website. Uh, the next question from Shubhatra is, uh, is it possible to add a link to an app in store? Because if I start my tailoring unit going online, I will need to need an app to take the measurement details. Um, we have uh, custom uh, fields that could be included into the product. So you can uh, choose what sort of information you would like to collect from the customers uh, while they're placing the order. So this will help in like, you know, getting the measurements and all of that. Okay, great. I have uh, also another very interesting question. Uh, can a customer log in and see what he bought? Oh, yes, once the member portal is uh, set up, they will be able to go like, you know, it will be like a registered user where they can see their order history and all of that. Okay, and uh, just to add on to that, I believe the couponing, uh, you know, system that we have and, you know, the discounting and coupons that we have that can be uh, activated only for a certain set of customers and to registered users and so on and so forth, right? Uh, we can also create, uh, you know, standard or uh, standalone coupons, mm -hmm. which would be like, you know, like it could be like, you know, summer sale. So that one coupon could be like, you know, used for everybody. But we also have like an advanced couponing feature where we can create specific coupon codes and like, you know, give it to specific customers. So okay, that will be in the uh, Zoho Pro plan, I am assuming. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the next question is, uh, I am using Zoho Inventory. Uh, is Zoho Commerce free for me? Uh, so for now, uh, you have Zoho Commerce free for uh, 30 days, uh, sorry, for 60 days. And uh, once we integrate with Zoho One, you know, and if you're a Zoho One user, then you will get uh, one certain plan, which will be free for you within the whole set of plan. But uh, if you're using just inventory, then no, you will have to pay for uh, commerce separately. But for now, I suggest, you know, go ahead and start using it for 60 days uh, to try out the software for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ajay has asked a question which uh, repeats itself, uh, which is, uh, can we have one mega store with many small micro store issued to small vendors, any workaround or suggestion? Uh, I would say that we don't have it. Am I right, Jitika? I mean, that is something... Um, so like a the workaround, yeah. yeah, the workaround could be something like, uh, you know, having one major, uh, like an inventory mm -hmm. and you can create multiple sites in store. Like if you have seen my dashboard, you would have seen five or six websites. Right. So all of it is going to connect to one inventory and probably they can sell it. If that could be like a workaround. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's a perfect solution. If somebody is looking yeah. to create a marketplace, uh, this is not ideally the solution yeah. to create a marketplace. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is fun. Yes. Perfect. I think we are on our final question, which says, uh, can we fix up any quantity restrictions for our wholesale customers? Uh, I think the wholesale customer uh, thing that we have right now is... Uh, 
are the um, like the only we have a new feature called uh, price the list. Price, I think. Oh, yeah, price list. Yes, where you can uh, go and uh, set some restrictions for each customer base. So. Right. Uh, to the particular thing, quantity restrictions, I'm not very sure. Uh, we will need to try it out. So, Mr. Sharath, can we sort of, uh, you know, I'll reach out to you separately and we'll discuss, uh, we'll try out the feature and give you an answer separately on this. Uh, great. So, I have another final one, uh, which is again uh, from Mr. Ajay. I was just typing out the answer, but I guess... Uh, you know, we'll just try and answer here. Is it possible to use points instead of prices in the product price? Uh, one of the customers is looking for managing customer loyalty based e-commerce store. So um, again, a very, very specific thing. I will definitely give you an answer uh, after, uh, you know, after doing a little bit of research and trying it out. Uh, fundamentally, it should be possible. Uh, the only issue I see is how do you control currency uh, for a particular customer? But again, uh, I will try and answer this for you uh, afterwards. Great. So we are right on time. Uh, we have we are over by three minutes. Uh, any other questions for us that we can handle, or else uh, you know, please feel free to reach out to uh, both of us. Uh, uh, we will leave our email IDs on the chat right now, so that you can uh, you know reach out to us directly, or at any point in time, please feel free to reach out to support. Uh, and just drop a mail to them or anything at all. Is adding tags to products possible? Yes, uh, Shrutika, of course it is possible. Uh, you know, you have tags and you have categories. So both of those things can be done simultaneously. Uh, great. Any, do, do you have anything else uh, for us, Shrutika? No, I'll just uh, enter the test store. Uh, um... You are here so people can go and try out and uh, get the feel of the product. Absolutely. Also, I am uh, sharing the email that you can use to directly reach out to Ashish and me. By the way, so your will... uh, video is not active. So, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. My video keeps turning off, turning off. I think it doesn't like my face. <laughs> All right, so these are the details. Uh, you can see it in chat. I have included the URL of the test store I just built. Uh, feel free to play around with it. And uh, marketing at zohocommerce.com. Ashish and I will be able to get the, your emails directly and we will get back to you for any questions you might have. Perfect. Uh, so, you know, just to sort of... Uh remind everyone that what we have just done is not just show you a demo of the product. You see a link in your chats right now, which is zilkafashions.zohocommerce.com. If you click on it, uh, you can actually go and interact with this website, place your order, and we will get your order in real time, right? So it's, it's not like... Uh, there is any gap whatsoever. So you have actually gone out and set up your website uh, in 60 minutes, Yes, it's not perfect. Uh, yes, it's not the most beautiful website, uh, you know, in the world yet. But that's the idea. You know, if you uh, remember our first or how we start uh, started our conversation, uh, our conversation started with us. Uh, hey, hey, everyone. So the <laughs> conversation started with us uh, talking about how. Uh, you know, you should concentrate on your core business, right? And your core business is selling online. Uh, and we're just enabling you to do that. So you're actually now online, you can take orders, you can start selling. Uh, how do you start? That's the first question. I mean, a lot of our audience, if you remember from the first poll was uh, thinking of just about starting. So how do you start is you go do this. I mean, this is technology, right? So you can just go and start your store. Now, whether you want to make a logo, you want to make a more beautiful website, you Keep reading about it. Keep doing that stuff. Keep talking to us. We will come back to you and try and do as much as possible to help you do that. And in the meantime, you can keep adding products. You can do all of that and test the market out, right? I mean, start posting on your social media handle. Start posting on, start sending people emails from your Gmail ID. I mean, whatever works. Uh, but start pushing people onto your store and see if you're getting business, right? Don't wait for a very extremely good website to start because 
the customer feedback is the most important thing in e-commerce. Uh, what you believe to be good and beautiful and right is not necessarily that because the customer needs to, uh, you have to set everything up for your customer to buy. Right. So that's the thought I want to leave you with. Uh, you know, start quickly, start instantly. And then it's a very, very long journey uh, for you to yeah. become, uh, you know, great and successful business. And as the saying goes that everybody starts somewhere, uh, if it's your first step, or even if it isn't, uh, welcome to Zoho Commerce if you're signing up. <laughs> and uh, please write to us for any feedback about this uh, webinar or about the product. We're always very happy to hear uh, and listen uh, and change our product and develop our product further. And that's about it from us. Uh, any don't worry any questions we'll be handling all of those questions separately we'll be sending you emails about it and uh, you have our emails in the chat uh, function please go ahead look uh, into it write to us all right thank you so much guys uh, it was great speaking to you and we'll see you soon bye-bye thank you bye-bye